Afternoon folks, I'm Dave Canterbury with Self-Reliance Outfitters and the Pathfinder School. And what I thought we'd do today is follow up on a video I did several years ago on blazing trail. And trail blazing is something that we've done since the beginning of exploration to let someone else know where we've been or how to get to where we are and also to give them information possibly along the way so that they don't get lost or they don't get injured or they know where certain resources are along the way. And if you look at the United States, there are lots and lots of blazed trails. On the Appalachian Trail is blazed. The Pacific Northwest Trail is blazed. State forest, national forests all have blazed trails in them. Some of them are color-coded so you know which way to go. We're going to talk about the common type blazing over here. And then we're going to talk about a different form of blazing that we can use. Unlike what I talked about a few years ago where you're actually cutting into trees, we're going to talk about a blazing method that you can use with some type of marking tape or cordage that you can pass on that same type of information, but then you can remove it later if you need to, and it's not going to damage anything when you're putting it in. Okay, so in American Forest, you'll see blazes like this quite often. You'll see different types of blazes. Appalachian Trail has blazings. Different types of trails within the United States and national parks have different types of blazing systems. But this one is kind of a universal forest type blaze. So if you've got a single blaze on the tree, in other words, the bark's been cut out and it's possibly painted, a lot of times yellow, one square means to continue in that direction. Three squares like this in a triangle mean that this is the start of a trailhead. One square under the other with one offset to the right means that you are turning right here at this tree. If you have two of them and one offset left or right, it means there's a spur to the left or right on that trail. An end of a trail or the end of, you know, the line would be three blazes to mark the end of a trail system that are in an upside down triangle. And then you have a left turn blaze, which is offset left on the bottom instead of offset right, like the one above it. That's pretty much a standard and universal system that's used in force all over the U.S. Now, Let's talk about what we can do as 21st century long hunters to set up a blazing system of our own that we don't really even have to cut into trees and it may be a temporary blazing system. So what we're gonna talk about today is a different way of blazing trail. And we already blaze trail a lot of times as hunters or at least mark trails going to and from things like tree stand or hunting locations, marking things on our trap line with some type of a marking ribbon so we know where traps are at along our line and we can visually see them from a distance. And generally you would blaze, if you were blazing trail, about every tenth of a mile or maybe every hundred meters if you're tracking things in kilometers. But on a trap line, you might blaze every trap and those traps may be spread out about that distance or maybe a little closer. So you'd have those type blazes all the way along your trap line. I like the bright orange concept for a blaze because it's very, very easy to see. What we're going to do is I like things to be multifunctional. So I've got this Cajun pulling tape, which is basically very much like mule tape, except it's 1,200 pound brake strength instead of 1,800 pound brake strength. You can buy this stuff on Amazon. I'll try to put a link below in this video to the stuff you can buy in 100 foot, 500 foot, and 1,000 foot rolls. But being 1,200 pound strength, if I carry 100 feet of this or 200 feet of this in my backpack, it's multifunctional for lots and lots of things. And that much of it would allow you to blaze trail a long, long distance if you wanted to. So we're going to use this to blaze with. And we're going to use different configurations of this tape around a tree to give us different signals. And we're going to give you an example of that here in just a few minutes. But I'm going to show you on the board. I've got six basic blazes on the board and you could make up your own code that you could communicate with a group so everyone knew exactly what blazes meant for simplicity what i've done is and i would always use a square knot to tie this to a tree so it's easy to get off if i need to so in this example if the knot is tied on the left side of the tree with two tails it's a left turn if it's tied on the right side of the tree with two tails it's a right turn if it's tied facing you on the tree with two tails, it's a continue straight. If you have two tails hanging down with knots in the end or stop knots in the end, then that means that there's water ahead. If you have a stop knot on only one side of the long tail and one short tail, so in this case, your long tail is on the left. On this one, it's on the right. Short tail on the opposite side, stop knot on the long tail. 
That means caution on the left or the right as you're walking. So that's just a real simple six different coded messages that you're putting on the tree or messages that you're telling the rest of your party when they're following you in while you're pathfinding or blazing trail. And we're going to use this mule tape for that. And I'll show you an example of that on a tree over here right now. So let's go over there. All right, so we'll use this tree here because there's actually a little trail right here. And so if we put this around the tree and we go left over right, right over left, so we tie a square knot in it, and we have equal tails and it's facing the front, then that means straight ahead we're going. If this was tied to the right, then it would mean that we need to make a right turn here. If it was tied with the knot to the left, it means we need to make a left turn. If it's facing us and it has a stop knot in both tails like this, just an overhand knot in both tails, then that tells me that ahead of me on the trail is going to be a water source. All right, so if we wanna show danger to the left or to the right ahead, then we got one tail that's got a knot in it. And let's say we're gonna talk about left here. So we have one short tail, one long tail. We've gone left over right, right over left. And once we've tied that in, we now know that ahead of us on the left, there's danger. So you could figure out your own blazing system and you can combine lots and lots of things on this to decide what you want for your code. This just gives you some very simple ones of, we're gonna go straight or there's water ahead. We're gonna turn left, turn right, or there's danger to the left or to the right. Pretty simple code. And then you can add to that as you go. But this is a very simple way to do this that's visual from a long distance for someone else who is traveling along the same route to get to your location. All right, guys, listen, that was just a really quick video on a new topic that I don't see too many people talk about on YouTube when it comes to blazing trail and letting somebody else know where they need to go that's following you from one location to another, or maybe they're showing up at a different time and need to come to you. This is an easy communication system to let them know that and also to find your way back and forth until you familiarize yourself with the area well. I appreciate your views and I appreciate your support. I thank you for everything you do for school, for family, for business, for all of our sponsors, instructors, affiliates, and friends. I'll be back with another video as soon as I can, guys. Thanks.